What's going on, successors? And welcome to the Speak Your Success podcast. Before we hop into the episode, I want to take a quick moment and shout out Mr. Will Cyrus. On Instagram, you can follow him at Project the Number Two in Profit. Uh, last week, early Friday morning, before we even dropped the episode, Will hit me up. He said, God put it on my spirit. And he said, I just want to sow into your ministry. He asked me what my cash app was. And then he just sent me sent me a seed, man. Um, so Will, I appreciate you. I want to let you know I'm very grateful um, for what you are doing for our community. And I know you probably didn't even want me to do this, but still, I just had to show gratitude and just had to take the time to shout out you for all that you're doing and also just for your donation. Brother, we appreciate it. And that means a lot uh, by way of the podcast and just by way of uh, the work that we're doing on this side. So thank you, bro. Welcome to the Speak Your Success podcast. Let's go ahead and hop into today's topic. Become obsessed with the process. All right, so a few weeks ago, I got tagged in this fitness challenge, Cosine Fitness Challenge. And I looked at it, and I said, this won't be a problem because those of you who listen to the podcast, you know, I was a college athlete, used to play basketball, high school, middle school, like I've played basketball all my life. Not saying that I'm the best, but that's neither here nor there. But the, be- the part that I really showed out throughout the years, because I wasn't the best, was when it came to the conditioning. I would always be able to make the mile in great time when we had to run suicides or run lines on the court. I would always, you know, I was always one of the fastest and not one of the fastest, but I was always the best when it came to that, right? Before we go any further, I want to make sure that you're connected with us. Be sure to follow us on all the social platforms, SYS Podcast. One, back to the story. So now, getting tagged in this challenge, I said, okay, we'll run a mile. That's not difficult. I can get back to doing that. But now I'm a little bit older. Okay, let's, you know, I'm no spring chicken anymore. Okay. And I got out there and I ran a mile. And it took me like 10 minutes. And I was like, whoa, whoa. John, a 10 minute mile? Mind you, I had weights in my hand. But that's still... No excuse, okay? A 10 minute mile? Nah, bro. After I ran this mile, then the next day I came back, ran a little bit faster. I was like, okay. But I woke up that morning sore. I woke up that morning exhausted. And then being a space in a place to where I'm realizing the work that I used to put in, in my younger days, the miles I used to run in my younger days, I can't expect for me to start running out of nowhere and produce that same level of result. That's just not how it's gonna happen. And the same thing I think applies now with our businesses, in our relationships, in our lives, and even for our careers. Whatever level of effort whatever level of sweat equity, whatever level of investment, whatever level of sacrifice that you've put forward to put you in the position into the space where you are right now, today, is not going to be the same level of effort, sacrifice, sweat equity that's going to get you the promotion, that's going to get you into better shape, that's going to get you to progress to another level in your life. Because there's a saying, it's pretty popular, it's what got you here won't get you there. So I want us all to think about that just from my own personal experience. Because your boy is out of shape, okay? I am out of shape. And I realized that when I did a workout last night with my fiance and and I woke up today and I was sore trying to figure out why am I sore? It's because I haven't been obsessed with the process of consistently working out, of taking the time to stretch before and after, 
in doing certain things that are required. And now let's fast forward this into life. We all know that I'm a speaker. So when I come to work at night because I'm doing an overnight job, sometimes I'm speaking and I'm pushing myself now to even do it more so than ever before, consistently every night. Not because I think it's cool and not because I think it's cute and I want to be seen, but for the simple fact that I want to be undeniable in my craft. I don't want anyone to have an excuse for saying, John, we can't bring you in. We don't want to bring you in. Or why should we bring you in? Versus me now getting to a place, into a space to where I say, you're going to bring me in. And this is why. So begin to think about that. What's an area in your life where you need to become obsessed with the process? Because there's something called the law of concentration. And that plain and simply put is whatever you focus on will ultimately expand. So if you're saying to yourself, I'm hungry, John, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Then I say, well, why are you hungry? Why don't you go get something to eat? Because you can get on the side to where you're either, boom, you're right here. You're telling yourself, I'm hungry. But then you starve because you never applied any action to what you're saying you wanted. Versus somebody saying, I'm hungry. Well, let me find my keys. Let me identify what I want. And then let me go and get that level of food. We have to become obsessed with the process to make sure that we succeed, to make sure that we elevate and to make sure that we move forward. My process at night, plain and simply, is this. I take a nap before I come to work. Then I come to work because I'm at my overnight job right now. I'm recording this podcast. And then after I record this podcast, I'm going to get up and I'm going to practice speaking just so that I can continue to improve and become a more effective communicator than I was yesterday. Have you put your process in place? What is it that you need in order to get what you desire for your life? We all have goals, we all have aspirations, we all have dreams. I would encourage you to take about 10 minutes tomorrow and just begin to write down the things that you want for your life, right? I want personal freedom. I want to be debt free. I want a partner, a significant other. I want to live happily ever after. Get really specific. And then after you write these things down, reverse engineer it to say, what do I need to do in order to get me here? Well, if I want a partner, then I need to make sure that I'm whole first. I need to make sure that I've taken the time to do the, the, the self-assessment and the work on my myself personally. If I want to be debt free, what type of payment plan can I begin to put in place to make certain that I pay off this debt, this student loan, etc.? But we have to put that process in place and that we have to become obsessed making sure that we carry that just out. So friends, like I said before, make sure you stay connected with us. SYS Podcast 1 on all social platforms. And if you're tweeting us, use the hashtag SYS Pod to make sure we see your tweet so we can stay connected with you and we can encourage you in whatever it is that you said that you wanted to do. Whatever goals, whatever dreams, whatever you want to walk out. It's time for us to not sit at the table any longer and starve. But it's time for us to put a process in place so that we now can become obsessed with it to make sure that we eat, to make sure that we perfect our craft, and to make sure that we're able to get to the next level. Like I said before, what got you here is not going to get you there. TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? <laughs>